Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. A little bit of a headliner market talk, just covering the market, all, all aspects today on the game. It was a Saturday and we actually got a decent amount of content. Not a decent amount, we just got a little bit of content. I wanna talk about this SBC, what it did to the market. Some things are crazy high in price because of the link investments to this SBC. That was the Chris Smalling. Uh, and I wanna take a look at the headliner prices, talk about some of those cards, how you should see their prices maybe fluctuating through the rest of this week. And also look at some possible team of the week investments. Yeah, I said it, team of the week investments. I haven't been covering those as well as I should be on this channel for you guys because team of the weeks very lately have been very, very profitable. So I wanna cover some of those because I think there's a couple players out of this team of the week that could be very good to invest in in a couple days or at least this weekend. So I wanna mention that as well. But today we got the Chris Smalling SBC. This SBC is very cheap, very affordable, and it just seemed that he was due, right? Smalling probably should have two informs already. So this one kind of gives him that second inform. All it requires is one England player, one team of the week, an 83 rated squad and 80 chemistry, which is a decent amount, but uh, not bad for a pretty solid SBC. He, he could very easily get another upgrade because he has been killing it for Roma this year. All it would take is one more SBC. This guy gets another boost. Uh, and this card looks pretty, pretty solid already. Medium high work rates. Uh, they gave him a nice boost from his other inform. 93 strength. The stamina is a bit of an issue. The acceleration is a bit of an issue. So the issues with this card are stamina, agility, balance, and then acceleration. But other than that, his defending statistics are phenomenal with one more or maybe even two more boosts, if the Roma could possibly string together four wins, this card could be a, a really, really solid one. So if you have a spare 30K sitting around or if you want to do this SBC, but you can't, it's like, you don't imagine, you don't want to pay for it. Think of it this way, go out, trade, make 30,000 coins in however long it takes you, maybe a day, make 30,000 coins and you can do this SBC. It's out for three more days. Interesting, that's a quick SBC compared to Treore, so. That is a quick one, uh, but it was the, the content that came today. We also got a Headliners Challenge pack SBC that was untradeable today, so another untradeable pack SBC. Not a lot of people are fans of that, but uh, that did come out today as well. And since they dropped a second one today, that really makes me think that we're going to continue to get those pack supply SBCs every day throughout this promo. It's not something that we've had a ton of through the rest of this year. Uh, we haven't had a ton of stuff release like those pack supply SBCs, uh, you know, in the past couple weeks, I should say. We had them during team of the year and we had a ton of them earlier on in the year, but not as much in the, the later time frames and during promotions, at least. Um, the pack weight is still unchanged. We checked this last night in the video. It was, uh, it's basically unchanged. These got, these cards are giving out four and a half percent for a hundred thousand coin pack. So that is there for 125k pack. Actually, it was three and a half percent from a 100,000 coin pack. But uh, again, it is Saturday or Sunday. Uh, when you're watching this video, weekend league sell-off time frame is kind of what we're talking about today. That is what is happening right now in this game. Some stuff is going lower. Some of these other cards that went up a little bit this weekend, some of the older uh, and past team of the week items, if we go take a look on Footbin, at some of these older and some of these past team of the weeks, they're down a little bit. Salah, 820, 881. Those aren't actually down that much. Some cards are up a lot. Some Serie A link investments to the new uh, SBC Smaldini, like this Handanovic card that went from like 80K to uh, 103K today. I don't know if Allen really moved that much. Let me take a quick peek on his price. Did he jump a bunch today? Not really that much. So we kind of stayed about the same kosher for Allen. Um, but some of these cards are getting sold off a little bit. I think Sancho was at 140 or maybe even 140 mids at one point this weekend. Maybe not. I feel like he was 140. Um, maybe not so much, man. Maybe not so much. But anyway, there is a decent amount of stuff on this market right now that is getting panic sold. But again, this is kind of what we saw last week as well. The panic selling post... Um, we're, like right, right now, we're in a market where it's very high. People have a lot of coins. We opened a lot of packs two weeks ago for Team of the Year. And now this week... For headliners, a lot of packs are being opened. People have coins, and you see a little bit less of a sell-off, I think. In my opinion, it's a less concentrated sell-off because A, I think people are less people are playing weekend league, and B, um, there is probably more people just holding on to players because they have coins and they don't feel like they have to go sell those cards to go do stuff in the game, 
if that makes sense. Now, some of these cards are very expensive, so people that are trying to use these new cards are paying the big bucks. And that's the next thing I want to talk about is these uh, headliner cards. Mohamed Salah. Again, I showed you guys this example uh, yesterday on my video. I had a Salah that was on my transfer list for 1.2 million coins. The, the guy is now 1.75 mil. Crazy that this card is this high. And he actually sells here as well, which is the craziest part. This card is so expensive. It's basically just because of the live item, I think. The cards that are on teams, if we go and look at the squad, cards that are on teams that play well, right? People are realizing and they know that these cards are getting upgraded for their team performance boost and not just the individual performances. Because you can see Mertens, the Napoli card, that's a bit expensive, I think. Neymar is 4.2 million coins. I think that's very expensive. Um, Kyle Walker's up a little bit. I think that's a bit pricey. I think Samedo's a bit pricey. Um, and Varan, I think Varan's a bit pricey as well. I was talking about this on stream. Varan, even compare Varan to Team of the Year Delict, right? Compare those two together. Team of the Year Delict, I think, is like 900k, right? Somewhere around like 900,000 coins for this card. Maybe a little bit more. Yeah, so he's actually under 900,000 coins. And this Varan card is almost the same price. Varan is 880 right now. So he's like a there's like a 30k price difference between Delict and Varan. And this guy is a team of the year item and has way better defending stats, way better stats all around than what Varan does. But Varan is a live item, it's new, and the links uh to that Varan item, I think, are what is keeping this this uh this price high. But to me, it's just kind of crazy that this Varan card is chilling up here at almost 900,000 coins at a very, very comparable price to what a team of the year card is on this game. I think it is insane. And that just shows you how much hype these cards have and how much people are looking forward to these cards getting upgraded um, in the future. But I do want to say one thing about these cards. If you're wanting to buy them for your team, a lot of people want this card. I'm so happy they made this a right back version of Nelson Semedo. A lot of people want to get this card for their teams. I will mention one thing about this card in specific. His price range is capped at 500k. That's something to note. Um, so let's say you buy this card maybe like at 410 or lower to 400s. If it gets down that low again, just be careful with that because it's only going to go to 500k and then it will be extinct. So And cards like this, he might have a tendency to be like a quick magnet to that 500k, but then not get too high over it. We'll see. We will see what happens with this card, but he should get the upgrade. And this next upgrade is going to be big for him because it'll go above 80 physical and above 80 passing all at the same time. So that'll be huge for that Nelson Semedo card when he does get the upgrade. So just keep an eye on that one. Just something to kind of look out for. 430 on a little undercut right here. Nice. 430 on undercut. Not really uh, a flip that I could make, but if I saw one at like 4, 410, then, you know, maybe I would snatch. Looks like somebody already did it before me, but... Speaking of these headliner cards again, I want to start to put this in your guys' minds that the, the set one of these cards, these cards, we were talking about Ultimate Scream earlier today too. These cards are not going to be put back in packs like Ultimate Screams were. The first set of Ultimate Screams were released back in packs when the second set was in packs because of the holiday Halloween. Uh, because of that thing that was going on with the Screams. Nothing in the fine print or this promo says that these cards are going to be re-released in packs. So if you want to buy one of these for your team, I think this week is kind of your week. These cards, I know we talked about Team of the Years, and Team of the Years have actually dropped out of packs. Most of them have. I don't know if these guys are going to drop out of packs. Some of them might a little bit if their teams aren't playing that well, and if they were just too overpriced and too much hype on them. Only guy that I kind of think might happen that might happen to is Nine Golan. Um, don't know if their team can win four in a row. Don't know if he's really going to get an inform. So that's just my thought on him. But for the rest of these guys that are good, that have teams that are playing well, and honestly, the guys that are on the cheaper end of things could be big time shouts later on in a few months from now. And that's why I'm talking about and starting to think about some investments from the squad that I'm a fan of. If I had to name you two guys from the squad that I would want to invest in out of packs, the two guys that I would name to you would be Sansone and possibly Alex Tellez. Now, I'm not entirely sure of the form of FC Porto. You know what? Let's check right now. Let's check right now over here on this side. We'll go sofascore.com, and we'll look at Porto, right? Because I'm going to answer this question right now on stream as we're talking about it. Let's go to FC Porto. How are they doing right now uh, in their past few games? What is their form? 
Can I see their form right here? Porto, their last five games, win, 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 draw. And it looks like, did they lose today? They actually lost yesterday on Friday to Braga. Okay, so they don't play another game in the in their league until the 29th. But um, that's something to watch. These guys, are they're doing pretty well this year. 13 wins, 2 draws, and 2 losses. So again, that just reiterates my feeling that Tellez would be a strong investment leading out of this promo as well. One more upgrade to that card, and he's got 80 physical. He might have 90 passing. He might have 90 pace, and that would be huge for a Brazilian left back. If you see this guy down closer to like 220, 210 maybe, how, uh, how cheap was he on Friday, right? Because I'm using these Friday prices as a guide to kind of see how low he could go again. He was 220. He's actually got not going that high, bro. This guy is not going up as much as some of the other ones have. So if you see this guy around like the 210 range, maybe 200K flat, I'm a big fan of him. Big fan of the Sansone guy as well. Marseille is playing well. And this card will be Hullet Gang with like one upgrade, one and a half upgrades almost. So if he can get himself an inform or if he can get himself, you know, the four wins in a row, this card could be very, very good out of packs. This is the type of card that you could just buy, store it in your club. If you see him at like low to mid 20Ks again, I'm talking like 25K. This might be the type of card you just buy one, you chuck it in your club, you wait a couple months. He gets an inform. He gets four in a row. All of a sudden, this card is 87 rated. And then, boom, he's looking like a sick card. It links to Ben Yedder, and he might be 100,000 coins or 150K in a in like a month and a half from now. So that's kind of my thoughts on this card, right? This could be one I could see rising out of packs. Alberto could rise out of packs. Saul could rise out of packs. Um, you know, a lot of these guys could, could have a potential to rise out of packs. But for this first set, a lot of the cards are really, really expensive. Lewandowski, I think, is definitely overpriced at the moment i think neymar is overpriced salah is overpriced mertens is overpriced but not a, as much as the others Varane is overpriced a little bit um walker is overpriced too in my opinion so just wait on these cards if you're wanting to buy them wait until later this week just wait and see what happens that's my main general focus and just kind of my thought process right now for these headliners wait until later this week to start deciding and start looking at some of these cards and figuring out what you think you want to do with them. That's, that is my biggest thing that I would say to you is just wait till later this week, see what happens. All it takes is a couple SBCs or something that EA does on the game to make a lot of the market drop. The market's really high right now, but all it takes is an SBC or two that people would go and panic sell their houses for, or their whatever you panic sell their whatever's for. And then boom, you have stuff falling again and stuff like that. I don't think there's a possibility of a mid icon SBC just yet. Just yeah, I don't feel like that's possible yet. But the baby icon is expiring. I don't know if they're going to release the mid icon SBC before you can actually get the mid icon from icon swaps. But just thinking out loud, if that SBC would come this week, if EA would just drop a madness with that SBC, then we would have issues with the market, I think, because people would probably go sell a card to go do an SBC like that. And speaking of SBC fodder, because that is what you would use to complete SBCs at this time, these cards are still insanely high because we continue to get good value SBCs. And I don't think that many people are opening packs. Like seriously, we need some good pack supply. In my opinion, I would love to see some good pack supply this week. Drop the headliner player prices a little bit. Drop some of those. Drop some of the fodder. Um... I would love to see some drops on those prices. 86 is at 18K are crazy high, in my opinion. Hopefully on Sunday with these cards, we, we mean, we have lightning rounds probably on Sunday. We probably have some um, squad bad rewards that people have been doing. People have been completing icon swaps, of course, because of the, the glitches and stuff. So maybe we see some of that stuff happening. Uh, and people having rewards and maybe you see a little bit of the a little bit of drop on these throughout the weekend. But if they continue to put out the good value SBCs like Treore... Uh, and stuff like that, then you're going to see those cards maintain a high value, right? So that's just kind of the way of it is. And that's just how this market works. When there's good value SBCs, people have coins right now. So they're willing to pay that many coins to go and buy players to do the SBCs that they want for these cards. So EA is doing a great job with this promo so far, sucking coins off the game. And I think they're going to continue to do that, do that through player SBCs, flashback SBCs, and other stuff on this game so that's kind of the stuff i want to talk about today with the market um there was something else that i wanted to mention that was brought up uh in the live streams this week oh of the live stream today i mean upgrade packs like uh we're talking last year 
this is what we're talking about. We're talking about the 81 plus upgrade packs, the league upgrades, which you got for team of the year. People were now used to those. We're used to seeing those in this game. Will we get those during this promo? I think, yes, we will. Last year during this promo, we got a player pick uh, upgrade pack option, and it was it was okay. It was just kind of average, right? I never packed one of these cards from the player picks. Not many people did because they weren't really good player picks, but I would imagine a player pick or some sort of upgrade SBC either coming on Monday or Tuesday. It's my personal opinion. I don't know if they drop it on Sunday. Tomorrow, if we get any content, or excuse me, today, if we get any content on Sunday, I'm going to be a little bit surprised, just a little bit surprised, maybe a small SBC or something like that. But two SBC days in a row, they might take a day off tomorrow. Maybe they throw in another objective player. How long is uh, Playa out here for? Headliners Playa is out here for five more days. So he's out here for a while. We got time on him. But um, I could see another objective player coming maybe this week. Maybe it's just this one Playa and then next week we get another one. But they're doing a good job so far, I think, with this promo. There's There's some stuff to do on the game i'm not doing much on the game this weekend i'm not playing weekend league um, i tried some drafts tonight and that was just kind of dreadful to be honest so not really a lot of motivation to play the actual game especially just watching all those pros play this weekend and watching how you have to play the game for this game to be played slow passing the ball around the back waiting for the like the ai to make a certain move and get more aggressive and then you move in like I just missed the faster portion of FIFA where it was fun, right? FIFA should be a fun game to play. So that's why I'm not playing the game a ton at the moment. But again, headliner cards, I'm going to say wait on those. Please let them drop throughout this week. If they don't drop too much, then we'll just assess the situation on Thursday. Wednesday and Thursday for rewards, we'll assess the situation then and talk about that then. But I feel like there's just more coming this week, and I'm really excited to see what that is in terms of FIFA content. I almost forgot to talk about team of the week investing that I mentioned earlier. There are three, actually maybe four, but three cards out of this team of the week that I do think will rise. And I have some, you know, some prior um, things to base this on. Number one card is Rashford. I bet you could have guessed that. The cards that were in packs when team of the year started, they got hit with lightning rounds for a couple of days on that Monday and Tuesday, and then they were out of packs. Those cards did incredibly well. Uh, and that's kind of the case with these cards as well. I think they're getting hit with some lightning rounds Thursday, Friday, or Friday, Saturday, Sunday. But these cards are really, really meta, and a lot of people want to use these. Rashford's probably my number one team of the week investment this week. Again, if people have coins uh, in this game right now, which they do, and a left mid in the Prem, Rashford. I mean, this is it's a really good card. He's English, of course. So I mean, this is the type of card that people are using in this game. You can tell. He's actually gone up from when he started in packs on Wednesday. He went up after rewards after he was extinct at 210k. They had to increase his price range to 400. They did. He was at 230 on Friday, and now with the lighting rounds, he's kind of down. So Friday, if we take a look at his price, he did hit around 185 at one point. Yeah, 185 was right here actually. 182 on Saturday. If you see this card get back down under the 180 range, somewhere close to 180, 175. That is a buy price I like for this Rashford card. I will be a fan of that card around that price. Also, from this week's Team of the Week, I think Mars is a good one. Uh, Mars has a lot of special cards, but this one looks to be the best. Obviously, it's the highest rated, but the, the, the stats on that front page, 88 pace, the 85 shot, and the 85 passing just makes this card look really good. Um, what did he go to today during the lighting rounds? He was down at 120 and then rebounded to 134 again. So if you see this guy again at some point this weekend, I would assume it's either going to be on uh, today or in the morning on Sunday or in the nighttime on Sunday will be the kind of the lowest time for these cards. Maybe Monday, but probably going to be in the next day or so. If you see this card again under 120K, possibly around like 115 that might be stretching it a little bit but if you see that if lightning rounds hit hard or if we get some pack spcs tomorrow that could be good and then a record breaker aguero this card will definitely rise out of packs because it's got the record breaker design uh it's not better it's kind of better than his um than his scream card it's got less pace and less physical but better passing and better dribbling but it's got the record breaker design so this is gonna be a card people want uh, if you can snack this guy for like middle to, middle to low 500s, like under 550, I feel like it'd be decent for this uh, because Aguero, obviously with the feat that he accomplished this year, with the goals that he has scored from being out of the country um, and all the records that he broke, 
this card's gonna be a card that a lot of people wanna use. It's the cool card design as well, Record Breaker. So this card may be like 540K, right? I would be, I'd be pretty happy at a 540,000 coin buy price on that card. Uh, yesterday, he did it his lowest at 570. He's still 576. So I think this card has a little bit more room to go down. If you see like 520, I'd be a fan of that one too. But for the rest of this team, maybe you see a little bit of a, of hype on this Bruno Fernandez in form because of the whole United rumors and stuff. If you see this card, if you see that Bruno Fernandez ends up transferring to Manchester United, I do think you might see a slight uptick in this card's price just because of hype, right? People might try to incorporate this into their United squad somehow, or just people buy cards when they when things happen to them IRL. So that's something that I think you could watch for. If you see this guy like 40,000 coins flat, I would say that's a decent little buy there if you wanted to. Um, if you think he is going to get that transfer uh, set up and, and, and push through. This could be a little bit of a riser out of packs. If you can get him at like 20K, I'm, I'm down for that. 24K, honestly, is pretty low for an 86 rated inform. But with Smalling coming out today, he was 21K. Actually, I forgot about that. It's a good point. He was 21K earlier this weekend, even today. So if you see this guy around 20K again, I'd be a fan uh, of that card right there. Pretty solid card for an 86 rated center back. Yeah. If somebody's doing that kind of team uh, right there. Handanovic isn't a bad value either for an investment, but uh, I think you want to stick to the Prem. Rashford, Mars, Aguero, Team of the Week investments that you could see rise up this week. If you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it and comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. And if you're hyped for headliners, um, like the, the video as well. Yeah, like the video if you're, if you're uh, hyped for headliners, boys. Absolutely. Hopefully we get some content today on Sunday. Again, I'm not entirely sure if we will, but we'll see. Uh, and again, I will catch you guys in a video soon. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you later. Peace out. Yeah,